Hello, welcome. I'm in Arambo, Goa, famous hippie enclave. Very hedonistic vibes. In the 80s, this little village became world famous for its Goa trance. Basically, all started here on the beach. I'm gonna show you the beach. Let's go check it out before then. This is a contrast of cultures. It's Catholic, dressed in an Indian sari. Beats me. The main drag of Anambol. And look at it. All closed up for off season. They tell me in January, this place is pumping. There's parties everywhere. This car park in peak season is where they have the biggest parties. So you can imagine pretty much all the hotels within the vicinity could hear the trance. Hanuman. Wow, oh, they got everything. The famous Allenball Beach. It's pretty rad. Perfect place to have a beer. about uh, two kilometers long. They're doing photo shoot. They're doing photo shoot. It's seriously like India's favorite pastime. But the contrast between the beer drinking and then the fishermen, lots of fishermen still live in Anambo. I've been watching them bring their catch in. Yeah, you wanna buy this? You can have it this. No, I'll just take three. Oh. Let's see. You have change because I don't think I do. How much? I don't have change. How much? For 150, 50 each. This My is... My friend, 250 for three. Lucky no. chance. 250 for three. No. That is really lucky chance. I sell no, one no, and no. 150. I give him... I can't do that. Please. No. 250 for three because not a season. What place? 200. Really not. I got promise you. I don't want to lie. You buy for your niece. I'm happy to say you can pay for present. I'm really lucky to. No, it's okay. I can't, I can't do this. Take it only 50 rupees. I want to work very much. I need to make a profit. You win. 250. <laughs> very good salesperson. I've met BJ here from London. He's a legend. Hey, yo, man. <laughs> How long have you lived here? Well, I've been in Arabo since 95, mate. 95, crazy. Which time was the best to live in Goa? Like the 90s? Mate, any time is the best time to live in Goa. Yeah. As far as you're living in Goa. Because Goa is Goa. You get me? That's, that's culture. That's not natural for nature. Oh, up right? there. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I'll show you Can you show me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll show you, look. You I didn't know yeah, this. Right. Check that out. You see that that figure on the left? Yeah, right? the end one. Uh, behind the lady? Right? Yeah. Right? That's not round. You see those three figures at the back? Yeah. Right? If you look at it from the honey guest house, or this is it, right? All three of them have triangle heads, right? It's not a natural formation. That's the three different kinds of monkeys. One of them uh, is a macaque, right? This is under. Yeah. One of them is Supri, right? Which mentioned in Ramayana. And Haraman? No, no, Hanuman is not there. Okay. One of them is Jamwan. Jamwan is a mix between a bear and a monkey which is really Bigfoot, which is Bigfoot. but if you go there you see the yellow building right yeah i know if you look at it from there you can actually see a face on this one right and it's a multi-dimensional art yeah man i i lost my crystal <laughs> yeah one for 200. where is this one from ajanta caves, ajanta caves. Where there was alien life also in Ajanta. Mate, it's the same technology that was used to make Ajanta and Dairaka that's used to make this rock. Nah, just this one. Just this one. This is Citra. Yeah. What family is this? It's Open family. Open. Open, yeah? It's the same family. Open. Quartz and Open. Right? Quartz, you know, multi-dimensional. Yeah, power. yeah, yeah. Memory. Right, right, you want to record something? Let me, let me give you something very interesting. Okay. So let, let's see. This, what do you do? This is the secret, yeah? Yeah. Understand this. 
What, is 95% tobacco? Yeah. Huh? So what are we smoking? Seaweed? Tobacco with other goodies. When we say we're smoking a seaweed, why? That is what we call artificial intelligence. Why? Artificial, because it is what it is. Or is it what you think it is? You can never know for sure. <laughs> that's but why is it? Oh, that's anti-philosophy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Learning stuff from a Oxford graduate. <laughs> BJ was the best, man. He was. Turns out he was a. In the 90s, before he found Goa, he was like a philosophy teacher around England. And he reckons these rocks out there are made by aliens. Up here, there's a bunch of hostels where they offer $2 a night for a dorm bed. Which is crazy. A bunch of cows hanging out. Oh, very handsome, eh? You're handsome. Uh, you're right. So this is the rock that he was talking about. I don't know, looks just like a normal rock I guess. But definitely, definitely something otherworldly about this. They like to party here. BJ said there's a temple up here. So I want to see that. Hey dude. Where's the uh, temple? How are you? Is your name Ricardo? <laughs> yes. Villalobos. Where are you from? I lost country. I lost country. You lost your country. So you live in Anambo. Oh, really? Long time. Anambo, Anambo is sick. No, thank you. Sure? I'm sure. It's gin or vodka? Kadu. Kadu. I'll see you later. Nice to meet you. Let go. I didn't have one, I don't smoke. Sorry. That dude full on spun me out because I thought it was my favorite DJ. Ricardo V. Lobos. Pure vibes. Tropical island vibes. Check it, a whole other beach. It's lush. Do I need help? <laughs> Mate, I'm a pro of this. Oh, what is this? Just a whole other beach. Yes, please. This beach is super chill. And through here is a creek. This legend just gave me this. At this creek, the beach is over there. What a paradise! Well, 
This has been the center of Aaron Bowl in off season 2022. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.